welcome back to my channel please excuse my hair basically the fringe has a mind of its own and i've just had a shower today is going to be a little bit of a different video i just kind of fancied a change i wanted to show you something like more casual um and something that i thought you guys might find interesting so obviously like most of us are working from home at the moment but for me it's not really any different like i've been working from home for nearly five years as long as i've been doing this youtube channel and it's not exactly the same like i'm not going out to meetings which i would normally do every week i would normally be out like shooting instagram posts traveling as well and obviously i'm not doing any of that so it's a little bit different but for the most part it is kind of the same and I thought that it would be a really nice opportunity whilst you guys are all working from home too to show you what my day looks like. So it is coming up to about 12 p.m. so I actually start my day quite late um, usually because I end up working late almost every night. I'm such a night owl and so I like to lie in in the mornings um, and just have like a nice lazy morning. I like to get up and maybe do a little workout. Today I just did my eight minute abs because I'm feeling a bit lazy and I'm also really aching from my work out a couple of days ago um, and then I'll go down and have breakfast have a shower and then that usually takes me to about 12 p.m. so I just like to start the day in a really nice like chilled out way I just feel like it gets me in a good mindset and um, for the work that I have to do so on the agenda for today I have to film a video so this is gonna be weird it's gonna be like a video in a video um, but it's one that I'm posting in a couple of weeks and it's kind of in sections but before I get all set up oh my god my hair I'm literally look like Medusa but before I get set up for filming I just want to spend about an hour doing some emails because it's Friday today and obviously most people have already been working today for like three hours um, so I just want to get some emails sent off um, before the end of the week and it'll probably take me about 45 minutes to an hour um, depending on how many there are. <laughs> So here is one of my emails, um, it's a brand called Knock Knock which is a grocery brand that do like home deliveries and they've asked me if I want to receive a box and they look so gorgeous, I get to choose one of these boxes um, and I've just written half my reply to them asking if they'll be willing to give you guys a discount code um, so I can share that with you and you can get some of these at a discount too so fingers crossed they say yes. So here is another fun email, good morning friend, I kind of have a rule like if they don't don't say my name it's like an instant delete because it doesn't really take that much to say hi insert name here um, but this is so funny um, the weather that is not how you spell weather is getting hotter and hotter but don't worry we have a special fan available dudla, 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 da. would you love to review it and make a video to share with your audience it would be a perfect product in summer so I get this a lot I get this about a hundred times a day people saying please um, will you make a video reviewing our product you know for free you can just have the product which is like asking an electrician to come and do your electrics for free but you'll give him a free tool or something like, it's just weird and annoying. So, um, yeah, I'm probably not even going to dignify this with a reply. I obviously do have serious emails on here as well about work and that kind of thing. Um, but I don't really want to show you that stuff. It's kind of private. Here is a nice email that I can share with you from the brand Carrot London, um, which is a jewellery brand. And they are promoting their lab-grown diamonds because they're much more you know, ethically sourced than real diamonds. Um, well, I don't know, do they count as real diamonds if they're lab sourced? I'm not sure. Um, but they're asking if I would be interested in a partnership with them. So I'm definitely going to say yes because I've had a look at the page and they are very, very pretty. Here's their website with the pieces. They're just really like dainty, which is what I love. I love those earrings. So yeah, I think I'll definitely get back to them and say that I'm interested. I also like to check out the brand's Instagram just to see that it's all like my aesthetic, which I think this is. Um, oh look there's Daisy oh there's my friend Daisy oh god it's got a text from Domino's not good this is a really interesting email um, something that I would normally kind of like dismiss but I'm actually really interested in this after meeting a Chinese follower at my meet and greet and she told me that I should really try and get a presence on Chinese social media because obviously in China they don't have access to Instagram YouTube they kind of have their own like closed circuit um, social media but people from outside China can actually use it too. So, but obviously it's really hard because it's all in Chinese. It's really, really hard to translate. So it looks like this company kind of take care of it for you. Um, so I'm guessing you probably send them your content 
and they get everything like translated and captioned and uploaded. So I've basically emailed her back and just said that I'm really interested um, but how much would her service cost and does she think that it would be worth it in terms of the revenue that I would earn back from it and how long does she think that it would take to like recoup the cost? Would it be like a month, a year, um, that kind of thing? Because obviously like she's not going to do this for free, it's going to cost me so I need to make sure that it's going to actually you know, be worth it for me. Bit of a boring email from River Island, well not for you guys, um, but they just wondered if I'd like to share this with my followers. It's a code for your first time ordering at River Island, but you could just, you know, create a new account. You guys can all use it um, until the 28th of June, if you guys are interested in that. So this is an email from the lovely Faseo, I think I've said her name right, from Kai Collective, which is her fashion brand. I want to feature a few of her pieces from her new collection in um, one of my upcoming videos, but they're not actually like available yet, so she's sending me some samples. Um, so I've just got to organise this with her, hopefully I'll get these next week for when I'm filming. Um, so big thank you to her and I can't wait for you guys to see the video as well. I'd also say that I spend the majority of my email time um, declining things, saying no sorry I'm not interested. I get a lot of like offers from brands and companies to sponsor me and honestly like 90% of them I say no to um, because you guys know I'm just really fussy about the things I'm going to promote I want everything to fit like my style and my aesthetic sometimes they're like really really random and I'm like did you even look at my profile like this is not a good match at all um, but I guess they're just like not too bothered about that but I really really am so I spend a lot of time just declining things which can be really really boring um, but every so often there will be something exciting to come in like I have a couple of exciting um, sponsored jobs coming up which I'm so happy about because it's been a bit of a funny time with Covid and everything I think a lot of brands haven't really known where they are with their finances and they've been a bit worried about everything so it's really reassuring to see a little bit of work um, come in so so that's great and it's really nice brands, some that I've worked with before as well which is always lovely when you get to come and do it for a second or third time. I hope this isn't boring but I guess I've never really like, I've never really talked to you guys about this stuff before but this is like something that I do on an everyday basis and I hate it I have to say. <laughs> I had to share this, this literally just came in as I'm filming and it's something that I get all the time and it's so annoying. Um, Basically, we are now offering already verified Instagram accounts for sale. Ugh, blah, 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 blah. So it's basically people that just want to cheat their way to the top. It really bothers me. I get all of these emails um, offering uh, to, for free followers, or do I want to buy followers, buy likes? It happens every single day, and it's so frustrating to know that, like, people are actually probably doing this. It's just... Oh, it's infuriating. So apart from talking about like potential jobs, there's also chasing invoices, which is really, really annoying. Why can't they just pay you on time? You give them 30 days and then it gets to like 40 days and you're like, really, really? Just pay me, please. It's kind of frustrating, um, but that's just the way it is for everyone. Sometimes if you've done a collaboration with a brand, you need to send them the insights, like how many people swiped up on your story, how many people clicked the link or clicked the account tag, that kind of thing how many people saw it. So this might be too much information but I thought I'd show you guys. This is me pretty much pitching myself to work with Mango. Um, so I've given them some reward star stats of all of the clicks I had on one of my videos which was 59,000 um, and 433 items sold and then I've also given them my media kit as well which I'll show you quickly. This is like a little way that you can like advertise yourself, show like your demographics, um, the brands you've worked with previously, your content examples, that kind of thing. Um, so this is what I send to brands. So they kind of are able to get a feel for me and my content and if they would like to work with me. Yeah, I actually really need to get on with it now because I'm filming every single email and it's really slowing me down. I'm very distracted. So I'm just going to plow through these now uh, without filming them and then I'll pick up with you when I'm done. <laughs> So I've just finished all my emails which is a really good feeling, it's like a weight off my shoulders but it's kind of annoying because you do this big job and you feel relieved and then 
everyone starts replying and you have to do it all over again <laughs> which is kind of annoying and it's where like an assistant or an agent would come in really handy uh, which I don't have right now I'm doing everything myself I have had um, agents and managers in the past and I've just found it kind of hard because this is my life like this is my business it is my livelihood it's literally my life and when you're putting that in someone else's hands who you're not like 100% sure they really care or they're really like on the case it can be really really stressful and I just feel personally like more at ease like I feel more stressed because I have more work but I just feel less anxious when it's all in my hands because then I know that like everything's down to me and I'm not like counting on anyone else and I personally like have found that I do prefer it that way even though I do have more like on my plate so now I'm going to set my room up for filming so you guys can see my setup and all the equipment that I use and everything um and then get myself ready get some makeup on sort my fringe out I don't know what I'm doing with it at the moment guys and I will almost always be watching dance mums when I set up. <laughs> So this is pretty much my filming setup. It's not in the right place yet because I haven't decided where I want to film today. Um, but I use two lights usually. I do have three of these lights. They were very expensive. Um, I got them on Amazon. Uh, they're these lights, whatever that is it's gonna focus so they were 500 pounds each and I bought three so I spent a lot of money on these lights but they've been so worth it because look at all the videos I've created with these lights so at the moment I'm just using two I don't often use three um, unless I'm trying to light up the whole room and then I probably would need three but I'll show you what makes them so good first of all um, they have like a diffuser already on so it's not a harsh light it's always gonna be like a softer more soft focus light because of this um, like screen they have have and you switch it on like that and you can control the brightness with these little touch buttons you can just turn it up and down um, and then this is also the color temperature it's weirdly backwards because when you press up it goes cooler I don't know if you can see it's looking very blue down there and when you go down that's when it gets warmer and then here I have my tripod which I just bought from Amazon a few years ago um, it was one of the cheapest ones because I always thought why are tripods so expensive so I just got this one and it's probably not the best to be honest but um, it's fine for like what I need and then here is my camera this is the camera that I've been using since 2017 I think I bought this it was my second camera before I used a Canon 60D that's what I started out with and this is the Canon 80D I don't think they make this anymore they've discontinued it and replaced it with the 90D and I'd really recommend it as a YouTube camera it's just the best you can do photography on it as well and then I use this lens which is a Sigma lens um, I don't really know anything about it I just go to the camera shop and tell them what I want to do and they give things to me well I mean I buy them but that's pretty much it <laughs> and then on the top here is this little fancy contraption which is my mic so basically um, to get a really good sound I use this little like radio mic this is the kind of thing they use on film sets although this is more of like a budget at home version but it's really really good um, so this you clip on to your clothes and you stick the little microphone um, somewhere and it connects wirelessly to the microphone here that you connect into the camera so it's all perfectly synced. So although the lights and camera and everything are relatively quick to actually just physically set up, it would probably take me a further like 45 minutes to maybe even an hour to fiddle around with the lighting, to make sure that everything's perfect. I'm such a perfectionist. It's my least favorite part about what I do because I just find it so stressful. Like if the lighting isn't perfect, I will literally throw a hissy fit. Like I can't deal with it. I get so angry. So I spend a lot of time actually setting up my shot. But before I do that I'm just gonna get myself ready because when I do those test shots I cannot stand to look at myself <laughs> when I've got no makeup on and I'm all like gross so um, I'm just gonna get myself ready now um, do my hair and makeup work out what outfit I'm gonna wear for the video and then we can start like dealing with the shot <laughs>
So now I'm at least resembling something from the land of the living. I'm feeling much better and I think I'm just going to have to go for the trusty headband today. Luckily my hair was all curled as you saw because I was filming yesterday as well. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. It's about 2.30 now, is it? 2.30, yeah, coming kind of coming up to three o'clock so I just want to go and eat something have a little bit of a bite to eat for lunch then I will be back up here um getting ready to film my video and I was going to change outfits but now I'm thinking I may actually just keep this on because it's really cute so the top is from and other stories and it's just a little like stretchy stretchy tank and then I've got my shorts on which are from Zara last year so you could probably find something similar but I actually think the outfit's kind of cute and it's quite casual and then I'm wearing this really beautiful necklace from Swarovski it's a little shell really cute and then these earrings are just from ASOS they were super cheap like 10 pounds they're not very good to be honest but they look cute so yeah I'm just gonna go downstairs have a bite to eat quickly for lunch come back and continue working Hey guys, so I'm back from my lunch break. I was downstairs for about 45 minutes um, watching the Kardashians on Netflix um, and I've come up and I've decided where I want to shoot and I've just tinkered around with the lights and everything so it's coming up to four o'clock, which is typically when my afternoon starts, um, which is funny because for a lot of people, four o'clock is like nearing the end of the day. So I'm gonna be sat there on the bed with my laptop. So I've got my camera facing me and one light uh, sort of on me as well, but I like to sort of tilt it up a little bit because sometimes when the light is like shining right in your face, it can make you look really shiny, it can kind of wash you out. So I always kind of like angle it upwards a little bit. And then what I do is I actually have my laptop connected to my camera with the lead. So it means that I can see myself, I can adjust the lighting. That's sometimes why when you guys say to me, why do you always look down on your videos? It's because I'm checking on this um, screen that I'm in focus and the lighting's still okay and it kind of just becomes a bit of a bad habit and then I've also got a light behind me to basically light up the background um, because otherwise I would be really bright but the background would be really dark because it is a really really dull day today so I've got this light again facing up to the ceiling to kind of like have it reflect off the ceiling and disperse all around the room and this lighting is looking it's looking acceptable. So now I'm going to be filming and to be quite honest with you, like I actually have a really hard time filming my videos sometimes. Like sometimes I just sit there and I just get kind of like an anxiety um, and I can't really describe why because I'm not camera shy, I'm not nervous. Um, or anything like that, but it's just like this weird feeling that I get in my head. Once I'm in the flow, it's absolutely fine. And then once I've done it, I'm obviously so happy that I've done it and I'm always, you know, mostly happy with it. But it's just like getting started, I find really, really difficult. But it's kind of good that I've got you guys with me today because it's gonna pressure me to just get stuck in. Anyway, I'm not gonna use this as an excuse to procrastinate. I'm going to get on with it. <laughs> Okay, I'm finished now. I always feel so like exhausted after I filmed. I think it's because it's like an hour and a half of just like pure energy, like face animated, smiling, like bright voice, talking, talking, being really engaging. And then afterwards I'm just like, ugh. <sighs> so it took me a bit longer than I anticipated. It always does every time. I don't know when I'm gonna learn. I just keep on talking and talking and talking. So it took me about an hour and a half to film that. Um, and now I just have to grab the thumbnail quickly before I take down all the lights and everything. I love packing down after filming. It's like my favorite part of the day because it's like, oh, I can get back to being tidy and clean. I always feel so like messy when all the lights are up. Like it just looks so cluttered and ugly and I just love putting them away because also it feels like I'm putting my work away. Oh, so I'm all tidied up. It's such a nice feeling uh, when everything's away and I know that I can kind of relax now. I still have work to do, but I don't need to be like all animated and performing for camera although I am vlogging so it's a little bit different today so what I have to do now is something that I do most days and that is planning and prepping my videos so some videos obviously take more 
planning and prepping than others. Um, a haul, for example, is quite straightforward. I just have to spend a few hours, you know, online browsing um, and making my selections and then that's quite easy. But some take more prep than that, obviously. And also planning videos in general is really hard. I'm finding it especially hard at the moment during lockdown. At the beginning of lockdown, I was really inspired. That's when I decided to do two videos a week because I was like, oh, everyone's at home. You know, there's so many things I can do. You know, but it's been like three months and normally when I plan videos, it's always inspired by, you know, what's going on in my life, what I'm up to, occasions and that kind of thing. But right now there's literally nothing going on. So it's made it really hard to think of ideas. But luckily this week I had a big brainstorm and I've got my videos for like the next few weeks sorted out. So that's good. And I may even post two videos next week if all goes to plan time-wise. So what I'm doing now is actually doing some video prep for one of my videos going live next week. And I don't wanna to talk too much about it because um, I'm gonna elaborate more about this in the actual video, but I just wanted to like kind of touch on it. Um, obviously over the last week, well, over the last couple of weeks and gosh, forever really, but it's only really blown up in the last couple of weeks is the Black Lives Matter movement. And I've been really touched by it this week and I have been thinking of ways like that I can just like show that I care and help the black community and as this is a fashion channel like I decided to do an entire haul of beautiful items that I found that are from black owned businesses I don't really like saying black owned I feel like it sounds really crude but that's the phrase that's been going around social media apparently it's acceptable to say that so that's what I'm saying there is huge um, racial wealth inequality in this country and I'm sure in other countries too and I really really believe in wealth creation and starting businesses from the ground and you know lifting yourself up that's like all that I'm about. So I wanted to do some research and find some brands that are owned by black people, probably black women. I wanted to dedicate a whole video to shining a spotlight on some amazing brands so you guys can get to know them, we get their names out there um, and I'm going to follow them all like on Instagram and keep up with their future collections and try and feature them in my future videos. So sorry for the rambly intro, I get nervous talking about stuff because you, you know, never know if you're saying the right thing, but you know, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to do my bit in a way that I think will make a difference and is actually like genuine from my heart. So I've created a Pinterest board where I'm gonna be just like browsing the net um, on all these different brands. Um, and I'll just be pinning my favourite things and then I can put together like a visual board of the things I actually want to order. So that is my job for this early evening. I'm going to try and do this for a few hours. I don't really like to focus on one thing all day. I'd rather do like a little bit today and a little bit tomorrow. I already did a little bit yesterday um, rather than do it all in one day because I feel like you just get uninspired and your brain just starts to shut down. So guys, here is my Pinterest board. I started this yesterday so it's quite bare um, but I found a few gorgeous brands already. Um, Kai Collective has these beautiful baby blue and pistachio green dresses and then The Chemist which is these gorgeous pieces. Unfortunately, they're made to order, so they have a three week wait, um, which isn't gonna work for this particular video. So I'm going to email her to see if she has these samples like to hand that she'd be willing to maybe let me borrow just to feature in the video. And then of course, um, I might order something actually made to order as well, because they're so cute and so my style. So I'm gonna continue working on this this evening, hopefully get it nice and full with loads of pieces that I like and then I will start ordering stuff. So guys, here is my new collection. Um, it's a little bit bigger and I feel like there's definitely enough here for a video. Um, so, so many beautiful things. I kind of don't want to show you too much because I want the video to be a surprise, but there's about seven or eight brands here um, with a few things from each brand. So I feel like I definitely have enough for a haul. So I'm going to spend the next, uh, I don't know, half an hour to an hour ordering everything and checking the shipping times. And if any shipping time looks a bit dodgy, I'm going to get in touch with the brand and see if there's anything they will be able to do to help to get it to me a bit quicker. So 
so guys, it is coming up to eight o'clock. I'm starving, I need to go and eat. Luckily I have pretty much finished. I feel like there's a few, like maybe a few bits I want to add, um, but I think I'm mainly done, which is good. Um, and I'm starting to get that like fuzzy feeling in my brain where I've been doing like the same thing for too long. So I'm just gonna have a nice dinner break and then I will come back up and it will be time to edit my video. Hello again guys, so it is about nine o'clock p.m. which is a very usual time for me to get onto or into my bed get all comfy and cozy and start my editing or continue my editing from the night before because like I said with big jobs like this they're going to take like six hours I don't really like sitting there and just doing six hours of editing non-stop which is probably how long it takes me all together to do one of my videos I prefer to do like two hours one night two hours the next night maybe even an hour the next day and do it like a continuous process although I have left it really late this week it's Friday so um, I don't like to do too much on a Saturday so I probably will end up doing more than two hours tonight um, so I'll probably go on until around midnight and then I will start to unwind for the night I'll go downstairs um, have some midnight cereal my favorite thing to do watch some Netflix maybe read a little before bed just so I'm like fully switched off before I go to sleep and this is really normal for me I do this most nights I just cannot edit in the daytime like I just can't focus um I'm so distracted whereas at night it's dark it's quiet it's peaceful and I can just concentrate um and not get too distracted so this is just the way that I have always done it um and it's the way I like it so yeah I'm gonna get on with this now um, and I may even do a little face mask while I'm at it too <laughs> Hey guys, so it is midnight and I am tired. <laughs> um, I didn't get as much editing done as I would have liked to, so I am gonna have to work over the weekend, but it's my fault for leaving it to the last minute. So yeah, I'm just gonna go unwind now, have a little bit of me time before I go to sleep. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting seeing my working day, um, how I put together my YouTube videos. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you.